Hi, my name is Neil and Joshin Pule, and I'm bringing you this lecture on how to go about profiling MySQL. Um, in order to do this, I found the best tool for profiling queries in MySQL was a Java MySQL profiler, not JavaScript. Sorry about that. A Java MySQL profiler. You can find it at the following location, which will also be in the video, video description. It's at HTTP Google Sites slash site files for video slash home slash MySQL profiler. Um, there at this link, I'll give you instructions on how to use it as well as a link to the Java profiler. Uh, okay, so let me get started on how to set it up. Once you click on the actual link to the MySQL profiler, it'll bring you to this page. Um, it's basically a page which describes how you can go about installing the or setting up your MySQL instance to work with the profiler. In order to do that, you have to go into your, in my case, I'm using WAMP, as you can see here. So in order for me to do that, I would have to go into my MySQL directory, click on my.ini, edit it. It could also be my.cnf. And then I will have to add in these following lines, which is talked about in the actual instructions. Um, basically, what I am doing here is um, telling MySQL where it should output its logs. Um, so this is the directory for my um, WAMP and MySQL installation. Uh, and this is where I want it to store the actual um, uh, trace for or log as to the activity occurring in my MySQL instance. So I'll store it all in a file called query.log. Then I would I save it, and then I have to restart my uh, WAMP instance by left clicking and going to restart all services. Once that is done, um, I would go to the actual jar file, the project log monitor, and it has uh, a jar file in it called log monitor. I would start it up, go to options, log file path click there and click on the query log and then click open. You have to give it a bit of time before it starts to see what's happening. And now I'm going to run a query against my database. So we are here. We'll execute this. So it's ran the select query against the database. And as you can see here, the actual log monitor has uh, given me the commands that were run against uh, the actual database. And if I wanted to, I could see the parameters passed in. Selecting star from user, this is the command I just ran, um, and all other activities that may have occurred. If I want to, I could set a filter, and uh, I could basically um, state which um, operations I want to record and which ones I don't want to record. Over here, <coughs> it shows me the started uh, times and uh, various other parameters. Um, so uh, this is a profiler that's very similar to the <laughs> SQL Server uh, profiler. So uh, if you want something similar to uh, SQL Profiler, which is very useful, you can use the Log Monitor, which is a Java file open source, which I found useful. I hope you learned a lot from this uh, presentation, uh, and uh, I hope it was useful. Uh, thank you. Bye.